Hello everyone. So in this session, first we will discuss about the RL circuit. So I already told you RC circuit that is the first order system. So how the RL circuit will act as a first order system. So in this, this is the input and L and R are the elements and voltage across the resistor will be the V naught of S. So for that purpose, so what is V naught of S? Generally output equal I of S into R. But we don't know I of S. What is the I of S? I of S equal this input by total resistance. Input by total resistance. So if we convert into directly if we convert it to Laplace transform, L will be acts as the SL directly. You know that. Yeah. Because why it is impedance? J omega L. Right? So, no problem at all. So, directly I will write I of S equal to VA of S by SL plus R. So, how I can write SL is look at here. Generally, this is in inductor you know that inductor is this is L but actually the reactance is J omega so that's why J omega L it is the reactance so we are replacing J omega with the SL then it will become the SL okay and this is the R so just substitute this I of S value in the above equation you will get V naught of S equal to V A of S by take yes SL plus R SL plus R into R okay from this we can write V naught of S by V A of S equal to R by SL plus R so from this just divide with just divide with R you will get finally like this 1 and uh, SL by R plus 1 so I can write like this again 1 plus replace S L, L by R assume L by R as take it as L by R with the tau Tau is nothing but again the time constant directly. You can take it as the time constant. Finally, this equation become S into tau plus 1. This equation is become S into tau plus 1. Okay. So, so here, look at here. The transfer function of the, the transfer function or the system is nothing but V naught of S by V A of S will give 1 by S tau plus 1. So it is same as the RC circuit. In that RC circuit, you will get tau equal RS. For RC, same equation but tau value, tau value equal to RC. But for RL, tau value equal to L by R. This is only the difference between the RL circuit and RC circuit. Why these are the first order system? This consisting of the only one storage element that is here the L and in RC circuit we have only the C. Okay, so this is the transfer function of the first order system. Next. Next, we will discuss about the impulse response of the first order system. So, in that, we will understand if what is the impulse response response when we are applying to the first order system. So, I can write like this here. We are giving the input as impulse. Impulse means replace uh, nothing but del of t e is applied to the first order system. What is the first order system? First order system closed loop transfer function is sorry initially open loop transfer function is like this. First order system is 1 by S tau plus 1. This is the transfer function. 
and we need to find out we need to analyze the impulse response how the output will be acts when the impulse input is given to this first order system how the output will be acts we need to discuss here so for that purpose simply so for that purpose just we convert into the uh, for that purpose simply he, he, it is in generally it is in del of t time domain and it is in the frequency domain s domain it is also in a time domain just convert into the complete frequency domains that's why i will convert like this that is by applying laplace transform of del of t what you will get laplace transform of del of t is nothing but 1 directly and we, laplace transform of c of t we need to find it that's why it will become the c of s that's why it is become the c of s so then finally del of so finally signal u of s is nothing but the 1 is the signal and so better to take r of s r of s means input we are giving the input is 1 and that is we are applying to the first order system s tau plus 1 and we need to find out the analyze the c of s output waveform so for that purpose directly i am writing the output c of s equal to 1 by 1 plus s tau into r of s so directly you can write r of s is value r of s is 1 so here c of s equal to, you will get 1 by 1 plus s into tau so i can analyze i have to analyze i have i have to apply generally it is combination of 1 plus s into tau that's why i have to divide these terms so in order to divide these terms s terms directly i am multiplying and divide with the tau here so you will get finally what you will get finally so c of s equal c of s equal so i am multiplying with tau and dividing with tau 1 by tau here and s is here so c of s equal to finally you have the 1 by tau and s plus 1 by tau so in order to divide the s term so from this in order to find out the output waveform i will apply inverse laplace transform why inverse laplace transform already it is in s domain i need to convert into the time domain that's why i need to apply the inverse laplace transform so by applying the inverse laplace transform c of s will become c of t and 1 by tau is the constant here 1 by tau is the constant and i can write e power minus t into 1 by tau t into 1 by tau okay so finally i will get the 1 by tau into finally i will get 1 by tau into e power minus t by tau so this is the output what is the output value finally i get the output value equal to 1 by tau into e power minus t by tau so this is the we are getting impulse response that means whenever we are giving the impulse input the response from the system is this is the system so just observe here uh, generally any response is two types you know that one is transient response another one is the steady state response if you observe here we have only we have only exponential term here exponential term means it is only complete transient response there is no steady state response complete transient response but steady state response is zero steady state response of the time this response is zero so anyway we can find out if you find out why why it is zero 
because look at here impulse input means like this impulse input we are giving the impulse input what is the structure of impulse input generally impulse input is look like this at 0 it has only magnitude after t less than 0 or t greater than 0 there is no magnitude this is the impulse characteristics that's why it is at t equal 0 it is possible t otherwise t 0 it is not possible so that's why it consisting only the transient response it doesn't have any steady state response so anyway in order to check again just you should find out the steady state error then you will clearly understand but you will clearly understand so anyway we will try to find out the steady state error so whenever I am writing the S and S means the shortcut form that is steady state error what is the formula for error error means generally the input minus output will give the error so steady state error means simply whenever limit t tends to infinite you will get e power t you will get the steady state error simply that means steady state mean whenever t reaches infinite and that error is called the steady state error so if you observe here at t at t equal infinite generally impulse is not defined impulse is not defined why it is not defined it doesn't have any value it doesn't have any value okay so that's why steady state error is also not defined steady state error also not defined okay because it is only transient response doesn't have any steady state response so this is about the impulse response whenever impulse given we will get some output that is called as the impulse response i hope all of you understand the session thank you